an avidity to punish. I was reading last night the memoir of Supreme Court clerk Alan Dershowitz, who once served on the board of the American Civil Liberties Union, the ACLU. The question before the ACLU in the mid-1970s was whether to issue a statement supporting the impeachment of President Richard Nixon. The ACLU voted to issue such a statement, and Dershowitz argued against it. He noted that the ACLU had always been a nonpartisan, impartial organization dedicated to the civil liberties of all Americans. He argued that while no man is above the law, that also means that no man should be considered under the law. This included an American president whom the members of the ACLU personally disliked. Dershowitz left the organization a few months later, and President Nixon resigned. In his defense of the notion that the law needed to apply equally to all Americans, Dershowitz cited the closing words of an essay by Thomas Paine on the first principles of government. An avidity to punish is always dangerous to liberty. It leads men to stretch, to misinterpret, and to misapply even the best of laws. He that would make his own liberty secure must guard even his enemy from oppression, for if he violates this duty, he establishes a precedent that will reach to himself. Thomas Paine, July 1795, Paris. Paine could not have been clearer in his time and location, as the use of the guillotine by the French Revolution soon was turned on those who had murdered the French monarchy. A word to the wise for those who believe that every law can be bent to the temporary needs of the Democratic Party. Thank you.